Hello everyone. In this video, I will be guiding you through how we can install table track on Plesk server. So let's get started. First, we will visit the Code Canyon website and download the file from the Code Canyon. Go to download section, click download, and from there download the code table track files. And then we will upload the downloaded zip file to the server, extract on the server, and then move the content inside the script folder to root folder then we will open the public check.php in the url and then finally we will open without check.php and follow the instruction these are the steps that we are going to follow so let's directly jump to the demo so here is the plus server let me create a separate subdomain for the demo of table track table track let me create ok so subdomain is getting created it, it might take some time for the dns propagation so the subdomain is created let me open it in separate window and let's see what it's showing yeah it's showing something that means the subdomain is ready for now and the next step is just upload the files click upload file here is the files so let me extract the next step let me jump back here upload the files to server then extract select the file click uh, archive menu and then from there select extract files click ok then wait for a few seconds here are the files go inside this select script folder the next step was to move the content of script folder to the root folder now select all the files inside the script folder and move to root folder which is this one and click ok and wait for a few seconds now go back to the root directory this is the root directory the next step after this was to open the domain.com backslash public check.php in the url which means add public check.php in url so we are getting this page that means the subdomain and the php is working fine but we are getting few errors which is max execution time and post max size and also upload max size so let me first uh, tell you which file we are opening here which is check.php the file check.php is present inside the public folder and this check.php we are opening so let's resolve all the three errors uh, for resolving we will go back to domains select the subdomain on which the table track is installed select php and from here we can see that there is max execution time change it to 300 as in the drop down we only have a limit of 120 so let's keep 300 you can manually type it 300 change the post max size to 100 mb upload max size to also 100 mb and click apply settings are saved let's reload the table track and see if the errors are gone or not now the all the errors are go, gone so the next step is just remove the check.php from the url and see if we are getting the install yeah so we are getting the installer the next step is just follow the installer click this link uh, click next so here it is asking the database configuration so let's create the database go back to domains select your subdomain and from the database create database add database admin underscore tt from admin underscore tt let's generate a secure password read password yeah so here it is 
just copy this and use here and give confirm confirm password user has access to all database you can uh, check it or not completely depends on your click ok now go back to the installer paste the password and it was admin underscore tt and same the admin underscore tt click next step so we are getting the all the server requirements as green we can click next step this is also green click next step and wait for few seconds to get the application installed so the application in installed now and default login details are super admin at example.com and password is 123456 let's copy this click here to exit and click login uh, you need to enter your uh, purchase code that you have got from the code canyon and email here currently i am entering something randomly and the email will be also random for me this random details will work as it's a demo and uh, for you you it will not work so do not uh, copy these details okay so the application is installed perfect so the next step is we are getting a weird url here it's it's showing public in the url which i don't think it's good and we, if we remove public from the url the application is no longer working so our next step will be removing the public from the url i will share the link of the uh, youtube video that we have created to how to remove public from the url but uh, since we are here we can uh, let me guide through the quick uh, demo for that we will simply go to the domains select your subdomain select hosting and dns from here select hosting and from the document root just at the end enter the public directory so we are pointing the subdomain directly to the public directory click save let me guide you where we are pointing go back here files so we are pointing the subdomain directly to this directory this public directory and the public will be removed let's reload the page again to see if we are getting anything so this page is giving us 404 error and let's remove public yeah so everything is working fine now so we are good to go so i would suggest to install the table track directly on root domain or some subdomain but do not install the application on some sub uh, on some sub directory or folder so the uh, in that case the application might not work properly if you still have any questions or query you can comment down and our team will revert back to you as soon as possible that's all thank you